Hi everybody, it's Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do a pick a card reading. Um, this is going to be an angel guidance um, and it's going to be regarding love um, and general. We'll say general too. We'll see what comes out. I'm saying, um, you know, we may get more love, we may get general, um, but this is going to be angel guidance, okay? And today we're only going to do two piles, um, but we've got a new deck. This is the Angel's Oracle cards. They're huge cards, and the pictures are really pretty. So each pile, um, the two piles that we have are going to have two Angel Oracle cards. I've also got two cards from the Gilded deck and one card from the Rider Waite deck. So, um... I'm at my mom's house. I didn't bring my crystals, so I'm using two magnets uh, instead. So I do apologize, um, but I don't have a lot of time, so we're going to make this quick. I have to pick my daughter up from um, Bible school, so um, we're going to make this quick, and um, I apologize, but that's what we're going to do today. So um, let's see what we get. Let me show you guys your choices. Okay, you guys, so these are your choices. Um, first, we've got the magnet. It says faith on it. It might be backwards to you guys. So that's going to be the first. And then we've got the angel magnet, okay? So you can pick either the first one or the second one. Um, I'll give you a second, and then uh, we'll get started, okay? Okay, so let's get started here with the first one. If you pick the faith, let's see your first cards and then we'll do the oracle cards after, okay? So you guys got the queen of wands, so this could be a fire sign. You guys got the four of wands. And you guys got the ten of cups. Okay, these are all positive cards. Um, let's start first with the Queen of Wands. Okay, so um, this person, they're a fire sign. They're very warm. Um, they're very light. They're very loyal. Um, they're very independent. Um, they're charismatic. They make a great friend. They're very generous. Um, they're hospitable. They make good company. Um, they're full of great ideas. Um, they're helpful to those that they love. Um, once they've taken someone into their life, they're very loyal to them. Um, they're also a positive thinker. Um, they're very passionate. Um, they do have the fire burning. They're very passionate. They're very sensual. Um, they rarely have a bad temper. They do have a bad temper sometimes, but it usually passes quick. Uh, it's usually not for long. Um, they like to have fun. They're a very lively company. Um, they need admiration and reassurance in a relationship because deep down they really do lack the confidence. They may come across as a very confident person, but deep down they really need the reassurance, um, from a partner and they hate to be taken advantage of also when it comes to relationships, okay? So that may be you or that may be the other person. Um, and we've got the Four of Wands. So this is a very good card. This is about harvest, prosperity, stability, um, and it's expressed in a very fiery way since this is a Wands card. Um, you know, there's been a lot of hard work that's preceded this moment. Um, so this is telling you, you can sit back, you can enjoy the fruit of your labors. Um, this could also mean moving into a new home. Maybe, um, you know, you've dreamt to move into this place for a long time. Um, it talks about security, um, energy, um, faith in yourself and, um, if this is about work, this can mean working in theater, entertainment, dance, music. Um, I'm feeling all of those energies with this card. But with the Queen of Wands, um, you know, this partner, she's very loving. Um, she's very loyal. She's very warm and um, very independent. 
but very helpful to those that she does love, okay? And you guys got the Ten of Cups, so this is that same family again depicted here. Um, instead of wands, this is cups. So this cups are to do with love and emotions. This is love on a higher plane, um, lasting spiritual happiness, dreams coming true, um, abundance, joy, permanence, growth, um, also growth with the four of wands. Um, this is, um, you know, positive love, um, family, strong ties, successful, um, you know, events have happened and have brought this in, or they soon will be coming in for you. So these are all very positive cards. You could be moving, um, you know, and it could be with this fire person, um, but whatever it is, it's going to bring you much love and much happiness and abundance as well, okay? So let's look at your two angel cards. Uh, I'll look at one first. Okay, the angel of the West. It says, I create the reality around me with thoughts and pure love and goodness. Okay, so the angel of the West, um, he's an element of fire as well. So we've got lots of fire um, in this reading for you if you pick number one. Um, the torch uh, that he carries equals um, intuition illuminated, okay? Um, so this is, um, you know, being able to see things, knowing inner truths, um, like deep down within us, you know, knowing something is right or knowing someone is right for us, it's having a clear vision that you're able to grasp. Um, it's that inner voice that speaks to you. Um, and your angels will express this to you through signs and pictures and um, just pay attention to the signals, read the signals going on around you. Um, you know, it, use your intuition and your inner knowing. That's what this angel of the West is telling you, okay? So let's look at your second angel card. I like these cards. The angel of reconciliation. Let me be fully recon um, reconciled with what I have left behind. Okay, so this could be someone from the past coming back to you. Um, the lily that she carries represents reconciliation. Um, this card comes with peace, wisdom, letting go of past baggage that is really useless to you. Releasing, you know, sorrows and hurts and resentments um, because you, knowing that carrying that baggage um, of these resentments, they're really going to clog and congest our energy and you really want to have positive energy. So if you carry around these burdens um, that we all have in life, um, you know, it, you're not going to be able to have this peace and this wisdom Okay, so just live in the present. Um, don't submerge yourself in old grudges. Um, you know, have growth and move beyond that, okay? If something's happened to you, just realize something's happened to all of us, okay? Maybe someone did you wrong. Maybe you did something wrong. Maybe you're carrying this baggage of what you've done to someone else. But, you know, to be a healthy-minded adult we have to let that stuff go, okay, and live in the present, all right? So that's what this angel is telling us, okay? So whatever it is, if you can do this, you are going to have everything that you could dream of, okay? All your dreams coming true, but you need to listen to your angels here. Um, you know, they're trying to help you, and also look for signs and signals, okay? Okay? So that's number one. I really like that message. That was wonderful. Okay, so let's move right on to number two. Let me show you this angel. She's a little creepy, <laughs> but um, she's happy, okay? She's smiling, all right? So if you pick number two, the creepy angel, let's look at your first three cards. This angel over here, I got this from my mom um, for her birthday. It's cuter. It's like a little Cupid angel, okay? 
All right, so you guys got the chariot. You guys get the page of pentacles. So this could be an earth sign. They're very young. And you guys get the queen of swords. So this could be an air sign. They're an older person. Okay, so first let's look at the queen. Okay, so the queen of swords, like I said, she's an air energy. Uh, she's cool. She's charming. She's um, intelligent. She's perceptive. She's very rational. She's very logical. Um, you know, she loves to have a social life. Um, her heart is ruled by her cool, quick-witted head. Um, she's less, uh, you know, she doesn't wear her heart on the sleeve, her sleeve. And it's because she has been burned in the past. It's not that she doesn't have a heart. It's just that, you know, she, she's very logical. Okay. Um, but like I said, she enjoys having a social life. Um, she rarely has deep friendships because she prefers to rather skim the surface, surf, surface and have a variety of different friends, okay? She likes having a lot of friends rather than just like a couple really close friends. Um, she's an idealist. Um, she shies away from possessive or over emotional people. She, she really doesn't like people like that. Um, she believes in sexual equality, um, you know, in the workplace or anywhere. Um, she believes that a man and a woman should be treated fairly and equally, um, no matter where in the world, not just at work. Um, she's very graceful. Um, she's flirtatious. Um, she enjoys her sexual side, um, if this is to do with work, um, could be a dancer, could be a musician. They're very fond of music. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. And then you've got this page of pentacles. So like I said, um, this could be a younger person. Pages always bring in news. So there's news coming in. Um, it could be about financial improvements, um, but they're going to be minor because this is a page. So it's going to be minor financial improvements, um, maybe a raise in your salary. Um, but this page, they're very, um, they're very careful because they're an earth sign. Um, they're very steady. They're very grounded. Um, they're good natured. They're a good friend. They're close to family. Um, they're very loving, but like I said, they're careful. They're not like an air sign. They're unimaginative. Um, they also might have a sweet tooth. Um, <laughs> that's just one thing about the Page of Pentacles. I don't know why, but it is. Um, but any news that's coming in, it's going to be happy, and it's going to bring small gains, okay? Not huge gains, but gains. So this is good. And then you've got the chariot. So this is another um, earth sign, Cancer. Um, this is saying that um, you've been working very hard and victory is in sight, okay? You're about to be rewarded for all this hard work. Um, it could come in the form of overnight success. And others may be saying how lucky you are, but realize this is not luck, okay? This is the angels, they've rewarded you for, you know, this hard work that you've really put in. Um, you know, you've had to go through this battle and you finally won, okay? You could have had this battle with yourself or there could have been others that put these obstacles in your path. Um, but this is definitely a good card and it could be a promotion at work because we've got the page with the, the small, um, you know, financial growth and, um, the chariot. So something's coming in. It could be a promotion at work. Um, it could be in your love life, you know, obstacles are moving out of the way and you're finally able to move forward, okay? With this card, the, the motto, um, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So it's saying don't give, give in. Um, you know, you may be having this struggle with yourself, um, but there's something coming in, okay? And the page brings news. So this could be good news coming in for you, okay? I, that's what I see with these cards, okay? 
So let's look at your next two cards before I have to get out of here, okay? All right. The Angel of Knowing. My sense of inner knowing leads... I'm really sorry, you guys. I had to delete some videos. My storage was full on my phone. Um, but like I said, you got the angel of knowing, okay? And it says, my sense of inner knowing leads me to the light. Okay, I said that twice. But maybe you needed to hear that twice, okay? So it's saying, listen to the part of you that knows, okay? So maybe you need to short circuit your emotions. Um, you know, know that that's you know, how reality is supposed to be, okay? Maybe you've got this strong message that's trying to spring, you know, from your soul, um, you know, giving you clarity. Um, you know, the angels will give you this gift when you d dismiss unhealthy and unwholesome attitudes, okay? So maybe that's something that you still need to do, okay? And you need to know um, that you can experience this certainty and this knowing, um, and that you are perfect in the eyes of God. Okay. So y you have to be given this gift, um, of total clarity by knowing, okay. Knowing what your reality is and how it's supposed to be. So this angel wants you to do that. They want you to know what you're supposed to know, and they will give you this gift once you dismiss those on a half unhealthy, you know, unwholesome attitudes. Okay. And you may have unhealthy, you know, thoughts about other people, but you need to let that go. You really need to let that go. All right. That's what this angel is telling you. So let's look at your other angel, the angel of wisdom. So you guys get another cherub. Okay. Wisdom comes from the depths of my experience. Okay, so this cherub, this angel wants to tell you that, um, you know, you can get through these gates. These are the gates to paradise that this angel is in front of. Okay, but you need this wisdom. Okay, the, the, the angel is holding this candle and this, um, you know, this signifies the flames of wisdom. Okay, so without that, you're not going to be able to get past that gate towards your paradise, okay? Um, you, you also need to know your own divine nature, okay? Um, you know, without which you're not going to be able to experience this joy of paradise. Um, if you seek the word of God, you know, you, you will be able to get through here, okay? This angel wants you to find your wisdom by opening yourself to the deep, um, depths of, you know, our experiences, understanding, um, you know, deepening your spirituality. Okay. And wisdom is an internal awareness and the angel wants you to know that. Okay. So you've got knowing and you've got wisdom. Okay. So maybe ask the angel to show you how to make sense of your experiences that you've had in your life. Maybe you don't understand why did I go through that? That was horrible. Why did that person do that to me? You need to know, you know, everything that happened in your life was, you know, something that God put in front of you. And you may have thought, well, I don't believe in God because God wouldn't, you know, put me through that. Everything that we've gone through is something that we needed to experience in our life. Okay. So ask for this wisdom for healing and you will find the blessings in your life and you will be able to experience the joy in paradise that you truly want. Okay, so those are your messages. Um, sorry I couldn't do a third pile, but next time I definitely will. So thank you guys so much and God bless. Bye-bye.